The importance of this legislation, obviously, today is that we get a bill funded. Uh, the, in 2014, the law was signed to uh, presumptive cancer, identifying 10 cancers that protect firefighters if they were uh, to come down with cancer in the performance of their duties. I'm 30 years old. Um, I haven't smoked a day in my life. I do all the right things, keep my gear clean, wash it after every single fire. Um, yet, nevertheless, all the science proves that no matter what precautions I take, there are things that I can't do to avoid getting the cancers that are related to our profession. There are eight families right now living in Michigan that have been denied coverage because of the legislature's inaction. Eight families that served and protect us. Eight families that did all they could to help save lives here in Michigan. Certainly, it, we appreciate the legislature that had the foresight to finally pass this bill and the governor for signing it. But all of that action is for nothing if it's not funded. We're very happy with how today went. Um, it's great to come together with a group of people, uh, our, our brotherhood fi firefighters. We stood united and we got an outcome. And that's truly what we were here for to do. After a year of waiting and eight firefighters being denied workers' comp after they got cancer on the job, the majority party has finally agreed to have a vote to fund the first responders fund. I'm glad that all these firefighters came out to fight for their brothers and sisters, and I can promise you we're not going to stop fighting until the fund is funded. So we usually ask that uh, we'll do anything for you. We just want you to stand behind us and help protect our families.